There's very, very poor people throughout this country. But I'm talking about the third world countries that we're reaching out to. They don't have the information uh, that I'm talking now. And somebody's got to be sent to tell them. And God has called me to go into the back jungles, the back mountains, and go into where other evangelists would never go. Sleep on the ground. I've slept on the ground in Africa. I've slept on the ground in, in Haiti. I've slept on the ground in, uh, the, in many different countries because God sent me there to preach. And I've gone into places that uh, the big evangelists would never, they don't leave the cities, man. They don't leave the, the populations. They don't go out and preach to one or two people. And I'm not pinning a rose on me. I'm not saying anything great about me. I'm just saying that it says, how shall they believe if they've never heard? And how shall they hear uh, without a preacher? And in verse 15, it says, and how shall they preach except they be sent? You know, uh, many people grab their billfolds right about now because they're saying, well, this, this preacher's going to talk to me about my money. Yeah, I am. I'm going to talk to you about God's money. It's not yours. You're just using it. It belonged to someone else before you got it, and it's going to belong to someone else next week. You're not going to hold on to it, and you're not going to carry it to heaven with you should you make it there. Uh, so it's not your money that we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about the money that God has let you or allowed you to use. It says, how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. How beautiful are, uh, are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good news. For they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah, Isaiah say, a Lord who hath believed our report. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now, how can they hear except somebody preach to them? Uh, you're watching this video on the internet if you're seeing it right now, and it, it cost us money to air this. Uh, it cost us money, first of all, for the camera to make the video, the tape to put the video on the disc, and uh, the tripod to put the camera on. It cost us money just to produce this. Then it cost us money to get our website. Then it cost us money pay the electric bill so that we can watch the website and have it, then we have to pay uh, employees to put this on the internet. Then we have to buy the broad width band to put it on there so that you can watch it right now. It costs hundreds and hundreds and even thousands and thousands of dollars every month because we have to do all of these things. And so it costs money to get this in front of you so that you can hear it. And, uh, you know, a lot of people grab their billfolds because they say, oh, I don't want to give. Well, the Bible tells you to give. Uh, and, and in Luke, I want to read a couple of scriptures to you. Luke, uh, the gospel according to Luke, in chapter 6, verse 38, Jesus Christ, the one we've been talking about, my Savior, King of kings, Lord of lords, Jesus says, give. Now, that's a command. A lot of people don't realize that there's over a thousand commands in the New Testament alone. And Jesus says, give, and it shall be given to you good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. That's a promise from the Son of God. Give, and, and I'll say that you get it back, is what he's saying. Uh, give, and it shall be given unto you. For with the same measure that you meet, with all it shall be measured to you again. He said, for how, whatever percentage you give of your income, I'll give it back to you. That's what God says in his word, the Holy Spirit, uh, through Jesus Christ. He says, give and I'll see that you get it back. Now, over in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, it says, But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposed in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God love, loveth a cheerful giver. God wants you to be glad to give so that people can hear the plan of salvation. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always have all sufficiency in all things. God says, I'll make sure you never run low on anything if you'll just obey my word. And he says, uh, sufficiency in all things may abound to you or to every good work. As it is written, he hath dispersed abroad. Uh, he hath given to the poor. His righteousness remaineth forever. I'm going to ask you right now, if you don't know the Lord as your Savior, and God's dealing with your heart. I'm going to say this simple sinner's prayer. And I ask you, if God's dealing with your heart, repeat it with me. 
Father God, I come before you today. I am a sinner. I have sin in my life, and I ask you, Father, to forgive my sins. Place, it, place all of my sins under the blood of Jesus, for I believe in my heart, and I'm confessing with my mouth that Jesus is the Son of God and that you raised him from the dead. This moment, I invite Jesus Christ to come into my heart, to be my Savior, to be Lord of my life. I ask you, Father, to write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life and seal me with the Holy Ghost of promise until the day of redemption. For I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. If you said that prayer, let us know. We want to pray with you, and I'm asking you right now, if you would, to sit down and take an envelope and put a small gift in it and send to the ministry and help us carry the gospel around the world. God bless you.